Hey everybody and welcome to my new series on creating a Discord bot to join 99 servers. In this series, I'm going to have two parts. The first one is this video where I'm going to be covering the development aspect and the next one is covering the marketing aspect. Trust me when I say this video is going to get absolutely insane. So let's get right into it. So the first part of this video was really just creating and figuring out the idea of my Discord bot. So I narrowed my Discord bot down to four niches that I was interested in. These were music, utility, currency, and game. The first one I crossed off was utility. I felt there was nothing I could add to the utility niche and that Me6, Carlbot, and Dinobot already had everything covered. I felt the same way about music, as Rhythm and Groovy had just taken over the niche and there was really no point of creating another music bot. So I had two options, currency or game, and I chose game. The reason is, game is a really interesting niche. You can create something really original in this niche because there's so many games you can create. The game I finally decided to create was vaguely inspired by Pokemon. It wasn't a direct copy of Pokemon, but there was definitely some inspiration there. So I got on a notepad and started planning out the structure of my code. I think that this is the most efficient way to code, and it's a little tip for you guys who are coding. So yeah, that's how I like to code. So I had the structure planned out, and I also found out that I already had some code just like this, except it worked in the console. So this was going to be super easy to convert to Discord.py, right? Well, not really. It didn't really work when converting it to Discord.py, so a lot of the code was honestly scrapped and I didn't use much of it. So I got some good and bad news. So anyways, then I got to the bulk of this video, which is the coding. So basically, I started coding this bot, and then I realized that there was a huge problem when I was coding this bot. After many errors and errors, I finally got a bot that was working, but I found out the huge issue, and that was that basically the structure of my code was pretty dumb. Basically, what I wanted to do was create a bot that would, that would honestly be like an attacking game, except the only problem was the bot would ask the user what type of, what type of attributes they wanted right before the game. And the thing is, nobody wants to be interrogated by a bot. Chances are, if they're playing a game on Discord, they're not playing it for really competitively, so they don't really want to have to be able to configure so many settings, be interrogated by a bot, they just want to have a quick, fun game. So what I decided to do was use random values and use an algorithm to make sure everything was fair and neutral and that one person didn't have way too, way too like just overpowered stats. So when I finally had that all done, I actually had a bot I was pretty proud of. Except there was one huge problem and that was gonna throw a wrench in my whole plans. Do you know what that problem was? Well, that problem was... Building a website. Now, I know what you guys might be thinking. Shut up, Neil. Build a website. Why are you complaining about that? I hope you die. Okay, guys. Just just stop, okay? I'm, I'm gonna cry in a corner now. I'll be, I'll be back in a little bit. One eternity later. So, as I was saying, I was pretty good at HTML and ripoff Java. The only problem was I was really bad at CSS, and I was really bad at design and aesthetic in general, so I needed to create something visually appealing, and I wasn't good at that. The best site I'd created looked like this. Yeah, who would ever want to go on this landing page? I needed to create something that people would actually want to click on. So that meant I had a couple options. The first one was to use a website builder like Wix, Squarespace, or WordPress. The next one was to hire someone on Fiverr or just ask somebody else to build the site for me. And the last one was to just learn CSS and get better at it. See, the thing is, I hate myself. So I decided to learn CSS all by myself. This was a really bad decision. The first thing I did was go onto Google and try and figure out how CSS worked. And then after that, I went onto YouTube because, you know, I can't read. Who, what nerds read? So I decided to go for some more visual tutorials. And after that, I actually had a pretty good site made. After a lot of bugs and a lot of time. And that could have all been done much quicker with a website builder. But again, I hate myself, so who cares? Now what I had to do was figure out a name for my bot. I had to have something to display on the website. And I decided on 
RIP cards, otherwise known as RIP cards. I thought it was a pretty catchy name. You know, I didn't want something bad. I didn't want something stupid like Facebook or Apple. Who would ever expect those to be good companies? Those would obviously fail. You can always tell by the name. But then, you can see names like RIP cards as the new visionary tech leads of the future. So, I had a pretty good site built. And honestly, I have to say, I'm quite proud of my site. Now, it's probably not the most visually appealing site in the world, but to be honest, I think I did a pretty good job with it. So leave me, let me know down in the comments if you guys like the site, or if you guys think it could be improved, and let me know how. But just like that, my site was done, everything was good, now all I had to do was publish my bot. Huh. It wasn't gonna be that easy, was it? As soon as I released my bot, everything turned upside down. I got hit with errors after errors. Turns out, I forgot to test my bot in multiple servers. It was only configured for one server, and errors were just hitting me over and over. Everything was glitching, and everybody was pretty mad at me because they had invited it to their server. So it was really, really bad for me. Since I hadn't tested it, and it was already in servers, it was getting a bad rep, and everything was going crazy. People were DMing me, and I was quickly trying to figure out this error. I had to restructure all my code. Oh god, this was not going to be pretty at all. In fact, this was a nightmare. And just like that, I was back at square one, coding. This was absolutely horrific. As I said before, everybody was hitting me up on DMs, asking where my bot had went, if it was offline, hosting, what was happening, and I didn't have time to respond to everybody because I had to code. In fact, I didn't have time for anything. I couldn't eat, sleep, drink, pick my nose, uh, uh, uh never mind. But basically, I had no time for anything. All I could do was grind on coding, and it was so hard for me, because grinding on coding for one day was really, really hard, because I had to get two weeks worth of things into one day. I had to restructure all of my code, and it was really, really horrific, and it was really hard. But somehow, I was able to do it. I was able to take something that took two weeks and do it into one day. I don't know how I did it, I probably awakened some sort of coding monster in me, but I did it. And I'm so proud of myself that I did it, but I'm also super sleep deprived, so I'm gonna take a little break for 7 years, and I'll see you guys back in 20 years. So, uh, bye I guess. Wanna help me with the development of the next video, or do you want a shout out? Well, if the answer is yes to any of these questions, then invite my bot to your server down in the description. So if you guys invite the bot to your server, then I'll be able to, it's going to be much easier for me to get this bot to 99 servers. And if you guys do want a shout out, then there'll also be a Google form link where you're just going to have to upload an image of the bot in your server. And then you can uh, ask for any name, any type of shout out you guys want, as long as it's appropriate and all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching, and I spent about 100 hours in the making of this video, so if you guys hit the like button, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much, and bye.